This video will show you how to uninstall and install the Brompton Electric front wheel motor. First of all, ensure that you have all the tools required to perform the motor replacement. 15 mm spanner, torque wrench, 15 mm socket, tire levers, small flathead screwdriver, and pump. Make sure you have all the components required to perform the replacement. Front wheel motor, 15 mm washers, and tab washers. Top tip, motor replacement is easier to do when the bike is upside down in the work stand. First, remove the air from the tire. Disconnect the motor cable from the controller. To do so, unscrew the metal section of the metal threaded connector closest to the motor. Once this is loose, carefully pull the two sides apart. The half closest to the frame is connected to the controller and will remain attached to the fork. Move the half connected to the motor outwards in an anti-clockwise direction and unclipped from the plastic hook. Once the motor cable has been disconnected, we will remove the wheel. The motor is housed within the hub of the wheel. Unscrew the wheel's nuts by a few turns using a 15 mm spanner. Loosen them enough to allow the tab washer to disengage from the frame. If the axle or tab washer tends to stick in the slots, push the rim from side to side to disengage the tab washer from the frame. Once both nuts and tab washers are loose, remove them completely. If you don't have any spares, please put the parts aside. Then remove the wheel out of the fork. Push this cable away from the cable slot of the plastic hook to help it release. Remove the tire and inner tube. If you do not have a replacement, carefully remove the rim tape. Use a flat-headed screwdriver to lift the tape without tearing it or scratching the rim. The new motor comes pre-built into a new wheel without the tyre, inner tube and rim tape. Fit the rim tape onto the new wheel first. Making sure you align the hole on the rim for the valve, install the tyre and inner tube onto the new wheel. Do not inflate the tyre fully so that the tyre can pass the brake more easily when fitting the wheel. Ensure that the wheel is the correct orientation with the motor cable on the left hand side of the fork next to the plastic hook. The axle has two flat edges that line up with the dropouts of the fork. This cable can only be rotated clockwise. Make sure it's in the right position before you fit the wheel. As you lower in the wheel, take care with the motor cable. Push the axle into the dropouts and make sure both sides are fully inserted. Then place the cable into the cable slot of the plastic hook. Fit the tab washers and the nuts by hand. Then tighten both nuts to 18 newton meters by using the torque wrench and a 15 millimeter socket. To confirm that the wheel has been fitted correctly, please check that the wheel rim is not catching on the brake block and the tire does not catch the mud guard when the wheel is spun. In this example, the tab washer is damaging the bottom, flared part of the fork dropout. This is the correct way to fit the tab washer. Connect the motor cable to the controller. Find the two white arrows on both halves. Make sure they are aligned before connecting both cables. Also, check that both connectors are clear of debris. Now push the two cables together. To lock the two parts together, push the silver ring on the connector closest to the motor up and screw it in clockwise. Fully inflate the tire. Before delivering the bike to the customer, connect the bike to the diagnostic tool. We also recommend testing the bike to confirm that the issue has been solved.